All right, this one's gonna be on Vim Plug. It's a Vim plugin manager. Uh, in the past, I was using Pathogen, but this thing is way better. Uh, real easy to install too. Look at this here. If you're using on uh, Unix here, uh, you want the OG Vim. Just copy this curl command, and it will dump into your auto load folder. All right. Uh, this is for Windows PowerShell if you want to use that, and they do have it for NeoVim if you're using NeoVim, right? So that's how you would install the plugin. Basically, you're just downloading it. That's how. Uh, but if you want to set it up, you have to use your VimRC. And uh, all you gotta do is add this two lines. The call what was that begin here, and then the end. And in the middle is where you want to put in all your um, you know, Vim plugins that you want to automatically download and update and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of the Ubuntu PPAs. Remember that shit? Uh, you have to go out on the internet, search for the fucking one, and hopefully it's safe. Well, it's kind of the same thing here. <laughs> you, you go out on the internet, you search for uh, you know the plugins that you want to use, and you copy the URL in here. And uh, after that, you have to do a save or you write it out here. And then you do a, uh, what was that? Plug. So this is kind of like a package manager kind of thing. Uh, you know, you do a plug install, and this will go out on the internet and you know clone all those uh, plugins, which I already done. But you know, these are where it's located at here. So it should be in your vim dot uh, vim folder in your home folder, and it should be in the plugged in. Uh, so these are all the you know uh, ones that we downloaded here, which I already have. But let's say you add a new one here. Let's do that. We'll add a new one here. This one uh, is commented out, but we can uncomment here and we'll save it, right, with the write. And then we'll do a install, plug install. And this will go out there and get that control P plugin here. And look at that. We have our control P, right, real easy. Now, if you ever wanted to, um, what was that, delete it later on, uh, you can do that easy too. So let's say, for example, I commented this out, comment it out again. We'll save it. Although this is kind of weird. Okay. We'll save it and then we'll do a uh, plug. They have different commands here. We'll do a plug clean, right? And this one will tell us do you want to delete this directory? Um, what was that? This directory here, right? Because we want to clean it and it's commented out in our config. So I'm going to do yes. And this one will actually delete it. Look at that, it deletes that. You can see it down there. So we don't have that control P um, plugin no more. So that's how you manage it in here. It's real simple, right? Um, what else is there in here? Uh, oh yeah, if you want to update in the future, because some of these Git, um, GitHub projects, you know, they update regularly. So if you want to do an update, uh, we'll write it out and we'll do a, um, plug uh, update there you go and this one will try to you know go out there and see if there's a new version and it will automatically sync it with the new one and you have it up to date so like I said it's kind of like a package manager in here we do an update now the one the upgrade uh, was that plug upgrade this one is just for um, the Vim plug itself, not any other, uh, you know, plugin in your, uh, you know, in your config here. So if you want to do this one, this one is just to update the Vim plug plugin. So, and what else is there in here? Uh, that's pretty much it for the program, really. I mean, you have other commands here, but it really is just the clean, the install, uh, the update, and the upgrade. That's all you need to know. Um, if you want to have like different ways to do this, because right now we're just using like a URLs here, uh, there's certain ways you can do like for different branches and stuff like that. Let me see where's that, uh, right? So if you want to write it different ways, you can do like a shorthanded here. Uh, this is the one I prefer, it's just that the URL in here, and they do have like, uh, what is that, different branches you can write, right? Anyways, um, that's mainly it for the program. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's uh, real simple. Just using your configs to manage all these plugins. Because in the past, I was using Pathogen, and 
you know, I would set it and uh, I was too lazy to go back there and, and manually update like all the plugins because you don't know when it's going to be updated. And imagine if you had like 10 or 20 of these plugins, you got to do it manually. That's just too much work. But this thing takes, you know, all that away. And if you're a lazy person, uh, you probably want to use this because it has like everything uh, that you will want. Anywho, that's a Vim plug. It's the same guy that created uh, Fuzzy Finder. So he's a smart mofo, right? Anyways, check it out if you want to use uh, this one to manage your plugins for Vim. And that'd be it for this one.